Hi, I'm Sam Garcia, Applications Engineer at Epson Robots. I'm here to talk to you about Epson's all-in-one T-Series robot line. The reason we call this robot an all-in-one is because the robot controller and the robot are included as a single unit. What you see behind me is a T6 performing a pick and place operation and a T3 performing a vision guided pick and place plus inspection utilizing Epson's vision system. The T6 robot is taking a test tube rack to a weight scale and verifying if the rack is fully populated. If it is not fully populated, then the robot returns the rack back to its original position and the T3 robot picks and places test tubes from a different rack and places them onto the moving rack. The T6 takes the rack back to the scale and verifies that the rack is fully populated. Once the scale confirms to the system that everything is okay, then the T3 moves on to a vision inspection and vision guided pick and place. The vision system is inspecting test tube caps, reading data matrix codes on the caps and determining which tubes are good to pick. Once it finds tubes that are good to pick, it uses vision guidance to tell the robot where to go to pick the test tubes without having the gripper collide onto the head of the tubes. Once the inspection is done, the T6 robot returns the rack back from the scale to its original position, then the T3 depopulates the rack and moves back to its original position and the system starts all over again. This robot line utilizes Epson RC Plus 7 software which works with all of Epson's other robots and controllers. The benefit here is that if you learn how to program one of our robots in Epson RC Plus 7, then you know how to program them all because all of our robots use Epson RC Plus 7. Epson's all-in-one series is able to run off of 120 volt or 208 volt single phase electricity. That means you can plug this into a standard wall outlet just like you would a printer or projector but you can also have the option of plugging it into an industrial power supply like 208 volt single phase. The robot controller comes with a variety of connectors on the back, including a teach pendant connector so that you can utilize Epson's teach pendants to program or move your robot. You have an emergency connector for wiring your safety circuit. You have user inputs and outputs for 24 volt signals. You get a total of 18 inputs and 12 outputs. You can wire them for PNP or NPN wiring style. You have a USB port for a thumb drive so that you can obtain a backup of your controller on the fly. You also get an additional USB type B port connector or an ethernet port connector to allow communication between the robot controller and the computer running Epson RC Plus software. The T-Series Scara robots have pneumatic pass-through ports for 4mm or 6mm airline connections to be connected to the back of the robot and brought out from the head of the robot. You have field bus protocol Mudbus TCP IP included with the robot controller as well as serial RS-232 communication, TCP IP communication, and 24 volt digital input-output signals. You can utilize any of the four pre-mentioned protocols for remote control. There are a number of key options you can purchase for the robot. This includes the teach pendants I mentioned earlier, field bus communication protocols, which include ProfiNet, ProfiBus, DeviceNet, Ethernet IP, EtherCAT, and CC Link. You have available access to the IntelliFlex flexible feeding system for integrated part feeding and the Epson RC Plus API option, which allows you to communicate with the robot controller utilizing LabVIEW, as we have done in this demo, or any visual.net programming language. You have the option of utilizing the Epson Vision System, which is fully integrated with RC Plus and what is known as a GUI builder. And that allows you to create your own user interface for your operators through the Epson RC Plus environment. The two robots behind me are similar in controller architecture, but they are different in their physical specifications. The T3 furthest from me is able to carry a three kilogram payload. It has a 150 millimeter Z stroke, a 400 millimeter reach with a repeatability of plus minus 20 microns. The T3 can run through a champion cycle of 0.54 seconds. The robot has pneumatic pass-throughs at the head or joint two of the robot, as well as what is known as hand IO. Hand IO is an integrated power supply at the head of the robot so that you can power or pass through signals from your electric or pneumatic gripper. On the T3, you get a 500 milliamp power supply 
That is what we are utilizing in this current demo. The T6 robot, which is closest to me, is identical in controller features, but different in hardware specifications. The T6 has a 600 millimeter arm reach. It has a 200 millimeter Z stroke, a plus minus 40 micron repeatability, and the ability to carry up to six kilograms of payload. On the T6 robot, we are utilizing the pneumatic pass-throughs to provide air to the pneumatic gripper. The champion cycle for the T6 is 0.49 seconds. All of the T-Series robots utilize Epson's batteryless encoder technology. The best thing about the all-in-one robot line is that it is very economical. You may be thinking, what does it cost to get one of these robots in my lab and up and running? Well, the T3 robot is available for under $7,500 and the T6 is available for less than $9,500. Reach out to your general sales manager today so that you can find out how you can get one of these robots in your lab performing automated applications. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video and thank you for choosing Epson.